told you before, it's uh, CRS 2011. I'm Robert Reynolds, your host at DRTV. And we've had a lot of guests today, and uh, I'm not tired yet. I'm still hanging tough. I've got Mark Cook with me. Mark, how are you, buddy? Hey, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> and he's acting tired. Are you, are you tired, really? Oh, I'm, I could probably go another 10 or 12 hours. <laughs> <laughs> did you uh, did you burn it uh, last night at the bridge bar? Did you go out and hang with the, the radio guys? Yeah, we hung out quite a bit, and uh, I had a good time. But uh, I think sleep is like... For next week, yeah, you know. Good, good, good. Well, that's what we have to do uh, for the fans that are watching at home. This is a uh, this is a, a a period, a week in our life where we give it all to radio. It's a country radio seminar, in Nashville, Tennessee. I did my first uh, radio seminar in '92, uh, so I've been doing this a lot of years. And um, uh, yeah, what's no, that? Yeah, in the third grade, <laughs> were you really? No, no, I'm lying. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this guy's good. He, he, funny guy, I like him. So, Mark, uh, you 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 came out with a a, a song that's called uh, "Can't Cheat in a Small Town," which has done pretty well for you, and can be seen currently the video for it on CMT Pure, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, tell me a little bit about that song before we get into the new stuff. Uh, well, it's not a true story. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's clear that up. Yeah, yeah. But. You know, it's it's a song, you know, I do write songs, but it's not all about my song, my song, my song on the album. Mm -hmm. So we shop around trying to find good songs that, that fit. And I I heard that song and I intentionally put it up, came back to it in a couple of more months and I listened to it again and I still liked it. And I was like, we got to do this. So fortunately, uh, we got the chance to get it cut and, you know, we put the video out. It was fun. But, you know, if people that's heard the song, they know it's not real serious and in your face type thing it's kind of it you know brings a little humor uh -huh. something like that, in that well, <laughs> you know you i gotta tell you it's kind of fun sitting here getting to know you uh and for again for the viewing audience you're a you're a, a humble guy i can feel that you're just a you're a real you know soft-spoken nice guy I, yeah. is, is that is that <laughs> i try to be no no it's it's nice it's a real refreshing yeah. thing you know there's not that arrogance that Flying no, out no, no. of most entertainers. Where are you from? I'm from East Texas. I'm uh -huh. from Longview, Texas. It's between Dallas and Shreveport, uh -huh. Louisiana. Yeah. So. You know, it's Bonnie and Clyde territory, bro. That's a, when they used to run yeah. hard. They, I'm I'm from a part of my life in in Dallas, Texas. So really? uh, yeah. So I, I got you covered. I know a little bit about uh, about Texas. I love it. Yeah. I love yeah. it. Now do you Speaking still? Of. Yeah. Do you still? <laughs> do you still live there? Uh, I just moved to Nashville about eight months ago. Uh -huh. I just. I didn't like having to fly every other weekend and having a full-time job and everything. It was just, it was wearing me out. So, you know, once the, once the first release came out, you know, it just made sense to come up here where business was at. So, you know, I don't regret it. I, I go back home at least once a month and get to see everybody. So it's the best of both worlds. Well, I couldn't agree with you more as far as moving to Nashville. I had to do it many, many years ago. I don't think you can really take care of your country music career without putting in some time here now can't. george Strait has taught well, us that if you get to a certain level you can live wherever you want if you're king george that's you know, right you or randy it. travis living in hawaii or, right. or uh, new mexico now but they all put their dues in and you know they're living comfortably and that's right and so that's right well i enjoy spending time with you i want to spend a little time talking about uh, uh, a single that's coming out within a couple of weeks called i love it right that's it what's the gist of i love it mm, love <laughs> <laughs> well that's on me and then i guess i set myself up for that <laughs> no it's 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 kind of got a summery type song you know that yeah. feel uh, you know i can picture myself you know in a boat just yeah. putting in the cd and listening to it you know that and maybe some eagles tunes and stuff but yeah. or you know just driving down the highway and yeah. listen to some good music but yeah. i think people will like the song i think they'll love it yeah, man, you are a, a an all right guy. I mean this wholeheartedly. Well, you. you too. Man, no, I, 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 guys, I don't know a, a whole lot about Mark yet, but uh, I want to encourage you to get to know him. Go out and see his show. Get out, get out and get his music. He's just about as nice a guy as you're going to meet. Uh, Mark Cook with a song coming out uh, within a couple weeks called I Love It. Check out your radio stations and hammer them with phone calls and tell please. them you want to hear his music. Please, right? please do that. Yeah. <laughs> Let's wear them out on requests for I Love It and Mark Cook, okay? Uh, CRS 2011 coming to you live with Mark Cook. Great to have you. Thank you yeah, very thanks, much. Thanks, man.